Good Tuesday morning, everybody. Well, yesterday we looked at a guy who's in despair. He says, what's the use of living? Everybody dies. And then he kind of rebounds a little bit. And what he's going to say in the next verses are so important. So he says, even though we're all going to die and everybody knows we're going to die, he says, do this while we're living, do these things. In verse seven, he says, go then eat your bread in happiness and drink your wine with a cheerful, cheerful heart for God's already approved your works. Let your clothes be white all the time. Don't let oil like be lacking on your head. Enjoy life with the woman you love all the days of your fleeting life, which he's given you under the sun. For this is your reward in life and your toil in which you have labored under the sun. So he's saying, I don't understand everything about life, but I do understand this, that we can live our lives to the fullest. We should live our lives to the fullest. Don't go around morbidly and uh, do, do whatever you can uh, to show yourself as a person who's pleased. You know, we, we, have to, we can live and enjoy life. Happiness is an experience and an expression of life based upon a choice. I can be happy or I can be unhappy. I can be happy despite the things that I have to go through. I can be happy despite the things I can't change, but I can be happy knowing that God has approved my works. If God has, has created you, then he's got a life and a plan for you that's very good. And God approves our works. We don't have to worry about that. We don't have to worry about always trying to please the Lord and gain his approval. In Christ, we have his approval, and I think that's very, very important. We're pleasing to him, and so we can live in confidence and live a happy life. Clean your life uh, up. Show that you're, you're happy. You know, I, this, this is kind of a, uh, maybe a strange thing to say, but he says it well, doesn't he? He says, uh, look, he said, let your clothes be white all the time and don't lack oil in your head. You know what he's saying? Clean up. Uh, show like you have some pride and, and self-respect in your life. I see so many people who've lost self-respect. You can tell by the way they look. And uh, I don't think that's the way we should be as believers. I really don't. I think we should look the part that we've been saved and we live a joyful life and not just giving in to just living any kind of way. And because it's an influence on others. And enjoy your spouse if you're married. Enjoy your spouse. Find a way to enjoy your spouse. Don't separate yourself from her or him but find a way to be intimate with your spouse because that brings, brings great joy in life. Be self-sacrificing, not self-serving with your spouse. And life has many rewards and seize them. And the Lord says, if we'll seize them now, we'll be rewarded for them later in heaven. So let's do this. Let's show the world that we're believers. Let's show it by the way we act, by our attitudes, by the way we dress, by the way we do everything in our lives, by the way we, we do marriage and family, the way we do our faith, everything. Let's show the world today that there's a God who has saved us and approves us, uh, approves us in what we do. Heavenly Father, thank you that we can live in Christ knowing full well that we have your full approval. Lord, help us today to live in happiness and joy and, 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 and just not forget what you've given to us and let us show it by the love that we have and the way we conduct ourselves. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.